The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency has shown the media its new asteroid explorer Hayabusa 2. The first probe brought back samples from the Itokawa asteroid in 2010. Hayabusa 2 will be launched in December. It will head for an asteroid that contains water and organic substances. The rock and sand samples will be used to study the origins of the solar system and the beginning of life. On Sunday, the agency unveiled the new Explorer at its facility. The probe is 1.25 meters high. Improvements have been made to what's called the sampler horn. This tubular device will collect samples from the asteroid surface upon landing. Scientists have also modified the re-entry capsule that will bring samples back to Earth. Hayabusa 2 is also equipped with an impactor that removes surface materials. The device is capable of shooting metal bullets at the asteroid's surface at a speed of 2 kilometers per second. It creates artificial craters to extract rocks and sand. Project manager Hitoshi Kuninaka says there are, they are confident about Hayabusa 2's abilities and his team is ready for a new space voyage. The technologies we have developed through Hayabusa 1 and 2 are something that Japan is really good at. This project will be the touchstone of our ability to lead international space exploration. The agency will bring the new explorer to the Tanegashima Space Center in southern Japan in late September. The launch is scheduled for December.